Harry June is doing his best to save the planet, or at least part of it, this pond. Tai June is learning about environmental preservation and sustainability. On the agenda today, how frogs survive in ponds. This is the Green School on the Indonesian island of Bali. The bamboo paradise is located around a quarter of an hour south of the small city of Ubud. There's no central school building. Instead, individual classrooms are spread across an eight-hectare campus. Some of the lessons, for instance, in green studies, take place outdoors. I told them, like, this is my pond. I want them to fix it up. And I gave them sort of some demands. Uh, we've been studying the pond for two weeks. And we learned that the frogs are dying in here because there's no escape routes. This gravel will allow the frogs to reach land. Solar panels provide 80% of the school's power. The rest comes from a biogas generator that uses composting toilets. Along with ecology-related subjects, the school also offers standard courses in math, grammar, philosophy, and physics. The students come from almost 40 different countries. The curriculum is internationally certified. Right now in science class, we're doing a physics sort of... Uh, lab slash, what, what, what do I call it? Design engineering project. Yes, we're doing a whole project where we have to build a roller coaster and uh, made out of rattan and bamboo. They have time and space to be creative with, with the bamboo, with the rattan, with each other and the, the whole group dynamic piece. It's, it's just a much more thematic approach to teaching than you would get in a traditional school. After recess, it's time for math. But class begins with an Israeli folk dance. There's so many uh, kinesthetic aspects that I can teach through the folk dance. Moving forward, moving backwards, keeping a beat, stepping to the right, stepping to the left, all amazing skills for, which are for our human body. That's uh, a sustainable education. You know, it's an education for human beings, not for universities. Tuition costs around 10,000 euros a year. Balinese families can't afford that, so the Green School remains an oasis for the children of wealthy foreigners. Still, maybe one day they will share the ecological knowledge they learned here back in their home countries.